Well, most people would say that teachers are going to be obsolete one day. Oh. People say the education system is broken. People think that, you know, um, online. <laughs> <laughs> What is up everybody and hello from planet earth. I'm your host Philip. Most of you'll know me as Phil and this is the future minds podcast. Simply the best podcast out there covering all you need to know in head tech, online learning, the digital economy and what's being done around the world to shape the minds of the future. In this episode, I'll be speaking with Glenn Biederman Pam. Glenn first made his professional debut by winning the Comedy Central Open Mic competition in 2013, which earned him three more appearances on Comedy Central. Glenn has performed at the Leicester Square Theatre in the UK, the Perth World Fringe Festival and the Brighton Festival. He's also appeared as co-host on WTF To Me and played a key role in the hit series Tully's Wedding Diary. More recently, Glenn's the creator, actor, and director of the viral parody video, My Creepy Teacher, which has been viewed over 100,000 times since its release just three weeks ago. In this episode, we discuss Glenn's personal education journey, what it takes to be a comedian and director, and how Glenn would advise his younger self. I really enjoyed this exchange, but struggled to keep a straight face, as Glenn went, in classic fashion, way off script. I trust you'll enjoy this episode, and without further ado, I give you Glenn Biederman Pam. So, Glenn, to start off, tell us a little bit about your education journey. I w- went to, uh, I started off at a Jewish school called Herzliya, um, which is here based in the Western Cape, in the Lach, tucked into the um, foothills of, of Table Mountain in Frederhoek. Um, and then my parents decided that I, well, along with me, decided that I would like to play more sport because it's not so much of a sporting school and maybe extend my, um, I guess, my experience into other cultures and other religions. So we moved over to the other side of the mountain uh, to a school called Western Province Prep, which is in Claremont. And that was uh, a change, big change, because a lot of most Jewish uh, folks from Cape Town would go to Herzliya, but not me. I was a maverick. And well, not me, my brother did first, and then I followed him. So my brother was the maverick. And then uh, followed him into Western Province and then into a very, very, very fancy school called Bishops. I don't know if you know it, but I'll just say it again. Bishops, B-I-S-H-O-P-S, Bishops, Bishops, we're the best. That wasn't a war cry. I just made it up right now, but I think they should use it. Then I went to that school and, um, I mean, you can't complain about a school like that. It was absolutely everything for me. I had an incredible time. In fact, I loved it so much that I went into the boarding school uh, that was still um, notwithstanding the fact that I lived f- but 15 minutes away. Yeah. In fact, the majority of the dormitory, about 14 guys, I'd say 10 of them lived within about a 15 kilometer radius. So that's how much um, that, that school and a school like that has to offer where the boarders are there by choice. Usually you think, oh my God, you know, is it uh, you boarding school? You, you think your parents forced you? No, not us. No, we went there by choice. And it was fantastic because you could spend four days with the best mates and play touch rugby after school. And I, as a as a, a culture vulture, which I like to call myself, um, was able to, you know, um, to take advantage of the extramurals, rehearsals, musicals, all the things and really just fully immerse myself in in what that school had to offer by being there 24 seven and then not seven, 24 five because we were allowed to go home on weekends and that was fantastic. So it was the best of both worlds. We got to uh, experience everything at school, spend four nights with your best mates and then go and um, have fun on the weekends. Nice. My brother went to Bishop's. Oh, okay. Yes, I remember him fondly. Yes. (laughs) What's his name? Calvin. Calvin. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 No, I think we might have been in the same... uh, Maths class. How old is he? Close. Close. He's, um, he's, he's 21 now. Yes, that was that's 10 years younger than me. So we probably wouldn't have seen yeah. each other. But yeah. I thought I might have recognized the name. No, he, he thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, 
he's he's only got good things to say about Bush. Yeah, well, who doesn't? You know, bloody lucky to go there. Oh, Ronda Bosch. You Ronda Bosch. That's true. That is <laughs> Ronda Bosch has nothing good to say about bishops, but that's all part of that old bloody rivalry, you know. Yeah. But uh, honestly, Healthy. yeah, no, I, I'm, I must be honest. You know, I know we joke about it. We joke about it, and every bishop's boy says. Uh, they'll say, well, how long does it take for a bishop's boy to tell you? If, or how do you tell if a, if a guy went to bishops? He'll tell you. And I'll tell you why he'll tell you. Because it's it's very a great bloody thing to be at. It's a proud thing to be at. I mean, I'm very lucky. I'm one of the one in a billion people who are able to go to a school like that. And I, I'm so grateful for what it did for me as a human being and as, as a... Um, uh, like a, a professional now. I used absolutely nothing that I learned in the classroom now. But sometimes I do use it when I am when I get paid, so, which, which I do a lot of money. Then I use it to deduct my tax. Then I say <laughs> 25% of that. Now, now you know what tax bracket I'm in, the lowest one. Then I say it's a million rand, then 25% 250,000 rand. That's going to the government. That's going to be used in for roads and bridges and schools and that's what makes me feel happy about it and then and then i work out that's that's the extent that my maths yeah. goes so i maybe do need smartic is this for the time where we advertise smartic for for people who don't who for t- taking jobs from teachers is that good do you want that? <laughs> is that it's, 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 it's fun smartic yeah yeah, yeah. N- no no better way to learn than from a a robot <laughs> an, an AI part robot. An AI part, okay. No, that's, that's, Do I look into key. that camera or <laughs> that one? No, no, no. This is my right. camera. Smartic. AI bots will make you better at life. Nice. Thanks. Nice. Just use that anytime so you want. Did you, did you enjoy maths at school? Uh, what what did you? I, I Funny enough, I'm one of those weird ones. Who did? did? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I enjoyed it when, uh, when I was getting it right, which was... Um, zero percent of the time so it was very hard for me um and i really did try but i ended up succeeding um and i won't tell you what it was not the higher grade but it wasn't math lit it was standard grade that i did but i at least got an a for that so on the registrar when you get your registrar i think that's what it's called yeah yeah Report. Get it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then it said maths A, and then I just typixed out standard grade, and no one will know. It's very far away in my yeah. study. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, to to that point, uh, I, I strongly believe that anyone with a healthy dose of curiosity and an internet connection can do pretty much anything they want. Yeah. To to what extent has the internet helped or enabled your career? I mean, the social, internet. Yeah. Well, you just have to go so far as to look where, what I've done in the past 24 hours, Philip. <laughs> I'm well aware and I'm trying to stay away from that because I think everybody's going to ask you. But The internet on that is point, what it's all about, man. Yeah. The internet is where it is going. And um, it, I don't know where I would be without the internet. You know, um, it's, it's just you've got so much more reach as a content creator um, as a comedian, as a performer, as anyone, is my am I close enough to the mic here? Yeah, I think you is this close enough? Is that too close? Do you want me to whisper from now on? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, no, it's 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 done amazing things for me as as a content creator, and I've, uh, and it's nice to know that brands are now starting to take that seriously because before they thought, oh no, you know, if you make an internet video, then it's going to be cheaper because the internet, but you're still using the camera, sound, lighting, you're still getting the same frame. But because they didn't think, they they had this idea that TV was more, and I know this isn't your question, but it's the only thing I know what I'm, what I'm to talk about right now, Philip. Okay. Um, and uh, it's nice to know that clients, that brands are now starting to cotton on to the internet and seeing the potential in advertising. And that helps me as a content creator for people to see that there's opportunity to sell their products via, yeah, via my content, yeah. which is great. Yeah, you've so, got an audience and it's a distribution yeah. channel for businesses. Shout out. Can I shout out? Go for it. Shout out uh, to myself. Can I shout out to myself? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, at Glenn Biedem and Pam. Follow me. Nice. At Glenn Biedem and Pam. Yeah, and we'll reference everything in the show notes. 
Great. And um, transcribe that into Spanish. At Glen Biderman Pam. Yeah, no, we, we certainly will. We'll have a transcribe page and we've got a nice blog post and Great. Got video and audio. So. Great, yeah. No, yeah. Uh, on a serious note, the internet has, has done amazing things um, for my career. And uh, at, at Bishops, just to mention that again, the, it was interesting because I was talking to this about this to my friends the other day that we had we were we got laptops at the age of the ripe age of grade nine which um you would think is was for for school but we weren't quite sure what to do with them um but but we we did at least you know um use them for yeah mo- mostly for for school work i'd say yeah and, yeah and it was nice to be able to i mean you know to learn sure. on a laptop and now i mean i, I hardly do anything sure without my laptop so thanks to bishops i know how to use a laptop yeah well look coronavirus has been a catalyst for a lot of things specifically tech innovation mm. um since coronavirus started how has mm. that impacted your career mm, coronavirus <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the lockdown the, the lockdown the lockdown yeah the, the the are you talking about the so-called um like pandemic yeah, yeah. that's been I, yeah. I mean i don't know what you're talking about i did hear on the radio on the way here there was something that's been going around i don't know if it's a mild flu or a, mm. a cough or something um but uh it's done absolutely n- nothing for me uh on a on a from a comedian's perspective it's been terrible um i haven't been on a stage in a very long time and i miss it a lot um i miss the affirmation i miss the love Sure. Uh, I miss the appreciation, but most importantly, I just miss that sound of people laughing, you know, and that's just, you know, you can do a Zoom gig, which is, I'm sure, what you're getting to with how, you know, the technology has evolved, but there's definitely, a, and that is a, a, a bright side, but that one of the downsides is that I don't think you can ever recreate live performance yeah. um, through technology, and that's been very difficult yeah. for me as a, as a stand-up comedian, but then talking about what I referring to what I was talking about earlier was that um, you know there's so much more opportunity now for uh, for, for for content creation for people to go um, uh, people to put money and, and time into making uh, commercials because more people are spending time on their devices so therefore there's an opportunity for me to rather lean away from live stand-up comedy and more into sort of sketches and uh, and 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 content creation yeah well on the content creation side you're not only a comedian but a director as well yes i saw which, you looked at um, your notes there and referred to yeah because i was <laughs> gonna say you haven't mentioned that yet and no. i was getting antsy i really was i was actually starting i was gonna say it i was gonna do another shout out actually well uh, on that point yeah which which side of the lens do you prefer um yo that's a, such a good question and uh i do get asked it quite a lot i never really know the answer to it there are pros and cons to both. Um, those of you who want to do acting, it's very hard to do a, just complete a career in that and make a lot of money like I have. Um, <laughs> I'm not joking. Um, but um, as a director, there's a, I feel a lot more to the thing. You know, there's there's you're doing much more. As the actor arrives on set and you get have your breakfast and you get your makeup and you go and sit in your place and then you come and you do your thing and it's fine and it's great and it's it's sometimes challenging but from a directorial perspective you're in the process from three weeks before that and three weeks afterwards and you're uh, putting together presentations of how you're going to shoot the thing and look and wardrobe and location and uh, casting and you know everything every split second of the ad has to be thought about or the short film or whatever you're doing or film and then you go you shoot and then you go into a long edit process afterwards so from an engagement and a subst- substance point of view i i think i prefer directing because there's much more to it in my opinion but there's nothing quite like you know getting on a stage and doing a play that's there's no one no nothing can come close yeah. to that that's just the best feeling in the whole world yeah well i mean speaking about directing now have yeah. you um how, how's the last 24 hours been uh because of the 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 creepy crawly bit yeah yeah it's been crazy it's been absolutely nuts absolutely crazy but the past five days have been crazy because we thought of the idea like on thursday this is the creepy crawly 
spoof of the Octopus Teacher documentary for those of you who haven't seen it at Glenn Beenham and Pam you can see it on my Insta um, and uh, it's it. Uh, there's not much to say about it sometimes an idea comes to you it's like just a it's a fleeting moment and you think this is great and then the stars aligned that it was very relevant in a South African uh, context and so is Creepy Crawly the brand um, and yeah. the Netflix guy, Craig Foster, the dip documentary is is South African. So that those were two great entry points, um, and uh, and and so as a branded piece, it just completely came together. But I think even if it wasn't, I, I was probably going to shoot it anyway. Um, and but luckily we went to Creepy Crawley. I guess luckily for them, we we approached them and said, "Hey guys, would you like us to do this kind of branded?" content piece for you um and because i I'd actually worked with them a few years maybe five to five seven years ago and so they knew who i was and yeah we went the next day i wrote the script and then the following day we were shooting and by that evening we had we had an edit and then it got leaked by i don't know who um before it was even ready so that was the whole Jeez. different story so i was so there's a a whatsapp version going around that isn't actually the final version um which was quite uh, a blessing and a, a curse at the same time um you know it, it just went absolutely crazy and viral but it wasn't quite the one that i wanted to craft yeah. but you know i can't complain because people love it and people have been going nuts about it and and that's all you really want when you create these Brilliant. pieces of work so what advice would you give 18 year old glenn um 18 year old glenn what advice would i give him mm, very good question what advice would you give 18 year old philip hmm it's quite hard read more yeah i was gonna yeah. say read more yeah that's exactly what i was gonna say and read i thought oh, you know it's yeah audit your peers audit audit your peers audit your peer group like actually physically audit their bank statements. Well, <laughs> like go into their ha- like make sure they're not like well, evading I mean, tax. You, you could do that. Why would you but, do that? Um, I, I would. I would certainly. I would certainly be a little bit more critical about my friend group. Are you talking? I honestly don't know what you're talking. <laughs> are, you, <laughs> are you saying you need to study accounting and then audit your friends and use them as clients and then make money off them? Or Look, are you talking I mean, if, about if if you can do that? So you'd like to audit? So, wow! So study accounting is what you're saying. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, you yeah. said you mean evaluate them. Evaluate them before you yeah. get into friendships yeah. with them. No, 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 no. no. I think uh, honestly, I don't. Bit... I think we're seeing eye to eye here. <laughs> is this a trick question? Is Leon just no. going to pop out of that <laughs> that pot plant? This yes, Leon, I'm man. trying to keep it together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Uh, Are we even recording? <laughs> This is just um, a joke. Have you I ever this table felt plasticky? <laughs> have you uh, have have you ever heard of cumin? Cumin. Cumin mats. Cumin. No, tell me about it. So cumin is this um, this extracurricular Japanese paper based maths program that a lot of kids are doing these days. It's um, sort of you know all ages at school. Um, I'm sure peers of yours would have done cumin. Um, Not peers. I've audited. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I ordered them. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so okay. So it's a it's a paper based as opposed to app based. So paper based as opposed to app based. It's classroom. It's learning center style. Okay. So you go off to school. Your parents have to drop you off. Um, yeah, you know, like there's school. a whole there's like school. There's yeah. a whole bunch of inefficiencies uh, associated with it. And okay, you know what we try to do at Smartic was to create this online AI powered improvement of Cumon. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, so you know, earlier when you were giving Smarty a little bit of a punt, I think a, a great like one liner would be that um, you know, and speaking of Netflix, that yeah, you know, Smarty is the Netflix to yes. Cumon's blockbuster. Uh, oh wow, Smarty is the Netflix to Cumon's blockbuster. I like that. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. So, so Cumon was the blockbuster. It was expensive. It was inefficient. Yep. But it. It had its perks. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, uh, the tech at the time allowed for was that. Was right. Yeah. 
and Netflix is still doing the same thing, and so is Smartic, but smarter and at home yeah. and easier yeah. and cheaper. Correct. Great. Nailed it. Oh, that was so great. Yeah. I really like that. That just calmed me down. Should have said that up front. Yeah. I had no, I had no idea what we were doing here. <laughs> I thought this was a waterless <laughs> toilet system. I thought this was about global warming. <laughs> oh my god, cheapers! I was about to prepare my yeah, speech on glaciers. <laughs> oh, so it's an okay. Yeah, yeah. It's the um, blockbuster. So <laughs> no, it's the Netflix. It's smart. It's smart. Netflix. Is Netflix. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I can get it on Netflix anytime. Well, you can get it the same way you can get Netflix. Okay, but not on Netflix. No. It no. isn't no, not yet. on Netflix yet. It's, no. it's coming soon. Do you want me to punt it? Well, but yeah, let's hold off on that one. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Smart. Um, <laughs> coming soon to Netflix. <laughs> okay. So in, in, in 10 years' time... Um, what would I give advice to future Glenn? No. Um, in 10 years' time, what would you have done too much of and what would you have done too little of? Are you saying, geez, these are really difficult questions. What, what, what are, sorry, let me see. So, so you tell I wasn't great at school because I wasn't even listening to what you just said right now. Okay, so in, in 10 years time. Yeah, right. okay, picture myself in 10 years, okay. Um, what? What would you have done too much of in the next 10 years? And what would you are have you, done too little of? Are you asking opinion? me? Yeah. Am, do I know the answer or are you asking me no, to what, predict what, what I... Yeah, pr- I'm asking you to predict the answer. So I've... Are you saying that I want to have too much, have done too much of this? Or are you saying I, I regret having yeah, done too would, much of that? What would you have regret doing too much of? In a bad way. In a bad Can way. Can you give me an example, not of yourself, but say, let's say Jack. Sure. Okay, so, so Jack. So in 10 years time, Jack has spent too much time working and too little time with his family. In oh. 10 years time, Jack has spent too much time watching TV and too little time reading. Okay, Jack sounds like a <laughs> okay so and can it be a good thing yeah it can be good okay can be whatever you want it to be um jeez that's such and so too much of and too little of mm. yeah that's good um i think in 10 years time glenn has done too much of working and too little of traveling Yes, yeah, I, I think I've, I've, I will have done that. Yeah. Yes, and in 10 years' time, Glenn will have done... Not, can I say not enough reading? Yeah. So I'm going to yeah. give my, my 30-year-old Glenn advice saying, read more now so that in 10 years' time, I won't be able to say that I've done too little of reading. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. so that's it. So work less, is that good? Sure. Work, do less well, work, work, work. No, that can't be right. Work smarter. Work smarter. Yeah, there you go. Smartic, work smarter. And then spend, and then travel more when all of this so called, I don't know what, I mean, I don't know still what you're talking about, but whatever this thing you're saying is over. And number three, definitely read more. Because I tell you what, reading is just so important for everything. Every part of your brain. I can't tell you how important it is. I can tell when I'm reading that I am. I feel smarter in life. When I go into sure. a presentation, when I get onto stage, when I am writing a um, a joke, uh, it's it's just it's it's just huge. I mean, if Smartic had a reading app, well, that would just be a book. Oh, we we we're busy adding Are reading you? comprehension to the program. Brilliant. Right? That's amazing. Is that the direction we're going? Oh well, no no no, actually uh, not. But, okay. Well, yeah. do you want me to pound that? <laughs> You're welcome to. We've got a chess. We've got a chess app coming and reading comprehension. Chess, brilliant, right. yeah. amazing. They yeah. go hand in hand. Chess, yeah. music, and reading, yeah. all very similar parts of the Do brain. Do you play any musical instruments? Yes, guitar. Nice. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I believe I'm good. Yeah. M- many people will disagree. Okay. Um, but I I st- don't believe them. I, th- I think they're just trying to keep my ego down and trying to prevent me from becoming a massive massive star. Yeah. And I think if it wasn't for them, I would be huge. Yeah. But they come along and I bring the guitar out and they're like, oh, no, we're going to do Johnny Cash again. Here we go. And then I'll sing along and no one will. And then by the time I've fi- opened my eyes and finished the song, they've all left. 
but that's I always think that's because they've gone to find a record label for me to sign. Yeah. But actually, they've makes just, sense. Yeah, they've left. Great. Look, do I get a smart tech jersey? Yeah. Do I? Yeah, you do. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. I'm really, really happy about that. Good. Um, Red, do I really? No, you do really. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. I'm so glad. I, I like it a lot. Um, I need a jersey. So, uh, okay. For coming, yeah. What? Um, where does this confidence come from? Obviously, being a comedian, you have to either not care what people think or be extremely confident or both or neither um, or neither yeah confidence confidence different because a lot of us are incredibly insecure including myself and we are constantly having to work on taking our confidence and overriding that insecurity and it happens almost with practice. Like, for example, if you go on stage and you try a joke and then it dies, it doesn't do well. It feels terrible. It's a really horrible feeling because it's not like, I mean, even as a as a fine artist, the art is is a different, you know, it's, it's separate from you. So at least if someone says, I don't like that artwork, it's horrible, but it doesn't feel like it's yourself. When you are on stage and people are not laughing at you and your intention is to make them laugh, it's a terrible feeling. You mm. feel like you are not good enough. And so you develop this, I wouldn't call it a thick skin because a thick skin indicates that there's a very soft center. I think you develop mechanisms to, um, to be able to hold on to the good parts when you were doing well and when... Um, and when things were good and, and the accolades that one has achieved and to try and and nurture those and and use those for when you are in a, in a bad situation or if something doesn't go well or if you don't get a part, a role in a movie or whatever it is and try and develop that confidence by like holding on to the good as opposed to the bad. But it's not as easy as, as it looks. And everyone has insecurities, sure. you know. Everyone does. And... It's about acknowledging those and knowing that they're there and being friends with them and working with the good stuff to try and, and take yeah. yourself forward. Yeah, Great. That's On that point, what advice would you give? Uh, the, 10-year-old Glenn. No, uh, <laughs> what advice would you give the 10-year-old boy or girl out there that wants to follow in your footsteps and become either a comedian or director? Or, a, or an actor. Or an actor. Or a content creator. Content creator, actor. Or a child yeah. star. Child star. I was a former child star. Um, that's why I'm so kooky. <laughs> <laughs> Too much sherbet. Um, <laughs> what advice would I give them? Oh, re read more. I knew you wanted me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, ach, you know, man, it's 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 a it's a cliche for a reason. Like, if you if you're gonna do the damn thing, then you've just got to you've you really just have to do the work it's it's so cliched but it's I, c I can't stress it more yeah the harder you work the better you will be like yeah. that is the only thing in life you need to know i promise you if you work hard you will beat the ones that are talented more talented than you yeah i learned that just across the road at drama school i wasn't the most talented in the class but i bloody worked into late into the night and rehearsed and knew my lines and did my research and really, really, you know, I, I just, I, I lived it and you yeah. really do need to live it. If you're going to do this career, you can't half heart it, you know, you can't kind of pitch up yeah. you really, because the opportunities are so scarce and the competition is so high. You just don't have a choice, but to, to be obsessed and to live it. And I'm learning that more and more as a director that you can't sort of dip your toes into it and kind of like, you know, direct an ad here or there. You have to watch hundreds and thousands of ads and short films and films and, uh, and, and stand up. It's about going every night, going to a, an audience of 10 people. And if one line works, great. You know, you might bomb for 15 minutes, but you might get one line out of that night and yeah. that's enough to take that one line into the next one and it's just about commitment that's all i can say i, I can't I, ca I can't give any other advice um 
and I'm still do, trying to get there. I'm not there yet, you know. Great. There's still so much to for me yeah. to learn and still a lot of work to do. But I can't work too much because then in 10 years' time, then I'm going to say I've worked too much. So work smart, but also work hard. Rather work too hard than not hard enough. Yeah, good point. I would say. All right. So okay. Earn money, yeah. Money is the best. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you got to work hard. Exactly. People Quick. say money can't make you happy, but it'll make you flippin' happy. I, I must agree. A <laughs> um, couple of rapid fire questions. Um, yes, you can answer I like them as quickly as you fire. can. Um, favorite subject at school? History. Favorite sport to watch? Uh, this is rapid fire. Cricket, test cricket. Uh, I, I must agree. Also with you. agree. That's I two out of two. Cricket, yeah. Fantastic. Great. Um, Best uh, best comedian of all time, Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, Do you not agree with that? No, no, no. I, I think it's it's in the ballpark. Who's yours? I must say, controversially, either Louis C.K. Not or, controversial. Or, or yeah, not really controversial. His stand up is stand up, and his I think Robin Williams is also Robin Williams. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real sad, but great yeah. talent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great. What do you believe about the education system that most people disagree with? Smartic. Be better and more blockbustery, but less money. Is that better? Is that what you That's want me perfect. to say? <laughs> <laughs> Netflix. Is it Netflix we're promoting? Netflix. Do it everything but from your own. No. Which one was it? Well, well Smartic is Netflix. Right, but not the Cumon yeah, is blockbuster. Cumon, yes, yeah. exactly. Okay, yeah. what was the question? What do I believe about the South African Department of Education? I hate all of them. <laughs> I hate every single person who works in the government. Is that good? That's perfectly Great. fine. Stupid. You can use that stupid, sure. stupid. Okay. No, seriously. Um, no, okay. And I mean, to end off, Glenn. Okay, no, no. Ask the question. What was it? Um, okay, so what do you believe about education that most people disagree with? W what do most people say? Well, most people would say that teachers are going to be obsolete one day. Oh. People say the education system is broken. People think that... You know, um, online. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. So, I thought I had much more than. I, <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry. I hope it didn't go. I think mean, no, that's no, no, all that's, that's, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not that out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What just happened is I, I was listening so intently that I forgot that I was drinking water, and I spilled all over myself and all the equipment, including Philip's MacBook Air. Okay, well I'm glad we got that question <laughs> out of the way. I think I'll move on, Glenn. Um, on that, <laughs> actually, my spit is in this Corona spit. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, just give us <laughs> on that yeah. uh, just on that note on that beautiful <laughs> note to wrap things up mm. where can people find you what are you up to at the moment to anybody that's listening that doesn't know who you are where can they find you yeah um well we're in very exciting times with a production called tully's wedding diary there's a season two coming out so watch out for that on show max we're shooting that in november december so that'll be out i think in march april of next year winter of next year um uh, you can catch me on my instagram at glenn biederman pam or twitter sorry just <laughs> take your time <laughs> sorry at glenn biederman pam twitter instagram facebook um, not any live shows coming up because there's a so-called pandemic. Sure. That's pretty much it. So I'm just burping. <laughs> <laughs> this is the least smooth shout out to myself I could give. So you can get me on Tully's Wedding Diary season two. That's coming out in the middle of next year on Showmax. I'll be playing the character of Rail Rosen. Um, I don't know why I'm looking in the camera, but I like it. Uh, you can catch me on Instagram. Well, I don't know if you can catch me. You won't catch me. I'm not in the air. You will just find me on Instagram at Glenn Biederman Pam, at Glenn Biederman Pam on Twitter, Facebook, Glenn Biederman Pam. And then, yeah, uh, Panther Punch is a production company that I have with a friend of mine called Oliver Booth. Shout out at Ollie Booth 10 
um, underscore. Don't forget that. We have a content creation company. You can find all our sketches on the Panther Punch website. If you want to get me as a director, you get Sketchbook Studios, actor in Joburg, Owen Swanson manager, actor in Cape Town, Emma Rez management, comedian, Cape Town, Emma Rez management as well, comedian Joburg, Kate Goliath. In fact, I think you spoke to her earlier today. Indeed. That's all my representation. Great. Glenn, it's been a pleasure. It's a pleasure and yeah. privilege. And I'm sorry for spitting. <laughs> no, no, no. I think that's part of the pleasure. Studio. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Love you all. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers. For <laughs>